Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. This is always a special time in America, but this year, the blessings of Thanksgiving are, are especially meaningful. After being apart last year, we have a new appreciation for those little moments we can't plan or replicate. The music of laughter in a warm, full kitchen, the thump of small feet making big sounds, the circle of faces crowded around our dining room table, glowing in the candlelight. You know, as we gather together again, our table and our hearts are full of grace and gratitude for all those we love. And as Commander in Chief, I'm especially grateful to our service members and their families for the sacrifices to our nation. While we celebrate together, many of those military families will be apart from their loved ones. Whether your spouse is deployed or you've settled into yet another base, the holidays just aren't the same without the people and the communities that make this holiday special. We are so grateful for your service. As we give thanks for what we have, we also keep in our hearts those who we lost and those who have lost so much. And those who have an empty seat at their kitchen table or their dining room table this year because of this virus or another cruel twist of fate or accident. We pray for them. As Joe and I have traveled this year, we have seen and been so inspired by the unbreakable threads that unite us all. Family and faith, kindness and compassion, a love for this country we call home. You make us so proud every day to serve as your president and first lady. And from the Biden family to yours, happy Thanksgiving, God bless you, and may God protect our troops and their families.